interesting. Um, managed to keep my attention with uh, nothing but the two dancers. Uh, there were sound effects. There's this sort of white noise, this rain, and you know the the sets were very. Everything felt very tight and kind of claustrophobic. So we're really focused on the dancers, and there was no music. So uh, it was really left up to them uh, to keep our attention. And uh, right from the get go, I felt like I was in good hands. And uh, sure enough, I ended up enjoying it. It was very nostalgic, very old timey, especially um, with it being film noir. Um, I thought the story was very interesting, and the color, obviously, you know, film noir, it, it leaves uh, a compelling story. So I thought the story was very compelling. Um, I thought the actors did a phenomenal job, and it was. The storytelling was very creative. I thought this was a really evocative relationship and setting. It, I was so intrigued, and the black and white really added to that intrigue. Um, I loved the elements of the water and the wind permeating the space. I found that really added to, to the mood of it, but also to the emotional uh, state. And the, the turbulence in the soundscape was also really well done and very dramatic. That this one was... Uh a very different take on choreography. Um, I think um, the the rain sound effects were amazing and I really liked them. My favorite scene is when they are laying on the ground and it is kind of melancholic as well. This film to me felt like a dream, like a dream sequence. Um, the first thing I thought was the sound, the pounding of the rain. It was so soothing and I didn't actually realize how much I love, love, love that sound and going to sleep with that sound. There's just something so um, electric but soothing about it. Um, so I really liked that. It played a big, big part for me. Um, the whole time watching it, I just wanted so badly for these two characters to see each other and notice each other and connect with each other and they were so close um but never really got there and so you know it seems like they were in the same place just not necessarily at the same time it was very yeah cool. this one's really interesting it was it's cool how you know minimal it is in the sense of it being black and white and there being no music i i thought it made you know all the movements so much more um you know concentrated i guess if that's the right word it it made you like it it made everything feel more intentional and um yeah and it was cool it, i i really enjoyed it i i feel like the production design was also super strong like with like the kind of like period piece um and also like just the overall message you know uh was was really really solid and and timely and um yeah, I, I really like this, and I feel like it, it kind of it sets itself apart because of the, you know, the bare-bones nature. Very storm-studded and romantic. I thought it was quite an expressive choice um, to magnify their movements in the water-filled vase. Overall, it was clear that they wanted to get their feet wet um, by the way that they danced around the subject. This performance was really tight-knit and paid respect to all of the interracial uh, love affairs of its time. This film really had me in awe. I was very quiet watching it. I really didn't want to miss anything. Um, I love the black and white intro. Um, the shots of the male dancer through the water jug, just beautiful. Um, the sound of the rain throughout, it's, uh, yeah, I think that's how I felt was lost time. It almost felt like it started to be sort of a, a slavery period in time. And then it was just a very, um, very interesting and I really enjoyed it. The, another shot that I like is the female dancer um, walking and then being submerged into the water and you were underneath and above and um, seeing her reflection. It was just beautiful. The shots at the table where the female dancer, so we're looking um, from, from behind her um, and the male dancer is going back and forth. Very interesting, very unique. I really enjoyed it. I thought this was really intriguing. Um, like visually, it was super intriguing for me because it's like the choice to film in black and white 
um, I always find really interesting because it is a choice and then like having like the unfinished stairs be the um, like sorry the setting and the like girl was in a dress with like boots and the man like his shirt wasn't even buttoned just everything was just like slightly out not out of focus but like slightly off like having the stairs be unfinished having like but then the the dining room table set and all of those things just kind of working together and I also really 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 loved that they didn't have any music the only noises that you heard was like background elements like rain or thunder and then like their breathing with the music like how they're moving and the dancing that they were doing was actually relatively quiet so I knew that when they were making noise that was intentional because the rest of the time when they weren't trying to they were trying to highlight the other things or when I just heard the rain or I just heard like other random noises but they were still dancing 